Hi, today we're going to teach you how to make the perfect magnetic slime recipe. Pro tip, never eat magnetic slime for breakfast. Okay guys, so Dad and I have tried so many different recipes. We've played with four different glues this week. We've tried different iron shavings and things like that, and we really think this is perfect. Um, so we have these kits together that you guys are going to use and that our friends can buy from us on our website if they want to, to make it really easy. Um, so you're going to start by putting your iron oxide. You're going to cut the corner. Actually, this one cut all the way across. Put it in your bowl. And then next you're going to put... Um, glue. Cut a corner of your glue. Squeeze it in your bowl. And get those stirred together with your stick. Alrighty. Oh, I like this part, like slides right off. Yeah. Um. Alright, it looks like you all have your iron oxide in and you're starting on the glue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The iron oxide is the part of the slime that makes it magnetic. Uh -huh. It's going to be attracted to the magnet. Okay. That'll make it easier too. Okay, every time you roll it, watch what you do with your fingers. Gotta get more iron oxide in. Don't try to scrape the edges. If you try to scrape the edges, then you it actually gets more on the edges. Yeah. You can dip your popsicle stick into glue and then scrape it off. Uh -huh. Yeah, so get it mixed in pretty well, but don't worry too much about the edges right now, Parker. Because you can get more later. So, let me tell you a little bit about the science here. This chemical reaction is going to bind molecules together into really long chains called polymers and then it's going to make them really stuck on each other, right? So they're going to flow slowly and this is going to be a more oozy consistency like super smooth and more liquidy than other slimes that we've made because um, that's what we want when we're playing with the magnets so we can really make cool shapes. Okay. Okay guys, so to add your liquid starch, you're gonna cut a corner. You're gonna wanna add it little bits at a time, maybe do it four times where you add about a quarter and then you stir it in. So in between, you can set it in the glass so it doesn't spill on the table, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. and give it a good stir every time you add the starch. Got it. Pretty good, Zach? Yeah. Good, Parker. Um, okay, stir. It's getting sticky. Sure. It's getting sticky, guys. Cool. Ooh. I mix it like this. Okay. Try to mix it into that liquid there, the starch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's cover the starch up. That'll be a little too much. We're gonna do it in four four batches. Okay. So mix that, Parker, and then on the next batch you can start using your hands. Okay. So after you've added at least half of the starch, you can start mixing with your hands. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's mix it in, like that. Good, well, that's cool. Uh -huh. Mix it in like this, guys. Kind of like how you do bread dough with me sometimes, Parker. Yeah. Just keep squishing yeah. the stuff inside. Oh yeah, that's so fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's so slimy. Oh, that's so heavy. Yeah, it's heavy because of all that iron in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your science and your workout all in one activity. Hit the. Let me see if I can get this worked in more on the sides of your bowl. Parker, this is good. It's almost done. So it's seeming more like slime now. Whoa, Zach, yours is super thick. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. I think the way that we are mixing is changing the way that the polymers are forming because Parker's is runnier than the rest of yours, but we added all his starch, but I added all the starch to Zach's and it's a little firmer than he wants, I think. Austin's is good and we haven't added quite all of the starch. so. If you look in the video and see the different methods of mixing, <laughs> you might get some clues if you want the thinner, gooier one like Parker made. 
follow his mixing technique. Can you show us again how you did your mixing, Parker? Oh, I squeezed it a lot. Okay, so the most important part is just to add little bits of starch at a time and keep mixing and squishing until you get the, consist the consistency that you want. Okay, so let's get the magnets out. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay, so before we start using the magnets, um, we need to go over magnet safety. So don't get this magnet close to others and don't get the big magnets close to other big magnets. And also use one at a time and then when you're using the big one, put this one far away but not close to the other magnets. Okay, good. Yeah, because these big ones, these ones don't come in the kits, but if people want to buy them separately from us, they can. They're so powerful. They're like super powerful. And if you put two together, what could happen? They can chip. Yeah, and then they can snap you and then they can hurt you. Yes. And also, if they get on your fingers for a long time, then they can cut them off. <laughs> I never heard of that. And then what else, can you remember what else in the house can get damaged by magnets if you don't put oh. them away the right way? Austin? Electronics. Yeah, so we always mm -hmm. put them away when we're done. Yes, Parker? Magnets. Magnets. Magnet safety. All right, go ahead and get your magnets out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. see what happens. Whoa! It's floating. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's like a mountain building up. Is coming over the edge now. Yeah. Ooh, guys, wow. Oh, watch this. Don't touch me, guys. Mom, watch this. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Here it goes. It's pushing my fingers off of the magnet. <laughs> okay. it. It's gone. Can a smaller ball cover it? Um, yeah, probably. Well. <laughs> this is so cool. A small, thin little string. And boom. And if you let go, it just like runs away. Yes. And no, and you're not going in there. You're staying with me. Look at this. That was so nuts. Wow. <laughs> So it's like bulldozer. This is for keeping the slime in here so it doesn't get dirty. Yeah, so it doesn't get dirty, so it doesn't get dry. It has a nice screw on the lid. Oh, I, I put the magnet on top and then I screwed on the lid and when I took it off it was connected. <laughs> oh, that goes for a long time. And then, uh, So that's our magnetic slime video. If you want to make your own, visit our website, babyscientist.com, to see the details Whoa. in our activity guide. Dude, that's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> our activity guide has our re our recipe. Like paper. Can you stop interrupting me? Oh, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the activity guide has the details of our recipe and where we buy our supplies. You actually might save money if you buy a kit or two from us. It comes with all the ingredients packaged like you saw them, plus a container and one of these cylinder magnets. It's really great, the neodymium magnet. You could also buy one of these cubes uh, added on to your cart. Just be really careful with them. Remember um, safety things we talked about because that's super strong. But thanks for watching. Baby Sunday! Pro tip, never put magnetic slime and your camera. Okay, I think I, I think I like the pro tip, don't eat magnetic slime for breakfast the most. Baby scientists! Dun, dun, dun.